It is section 5.5, multi-step methods. The problem we want to solve is the same first order initial value problem as given in this equation. So far, we have studied single step methods such as Euler's method, modified Euler's method, and Lunge cutter methods. In this section, we'll consider multi-step methods. Multi-step methods use y values and slope values on multi-steps. So those values must be initialized. By using single-step methods, we can initialize them. After initialization, now we can use one of the multi-step methods to finish the computation. So single-step methods are sometimes called starting methods, while multi-step methods are called continuing methods. Here we have definition for an n-step method for solving the initial value problem. Here, uh, we try to find approximation y n plus 1 given by this equation. Here, these are the multiple y values combination, and these are uh, linear combination of multiple slope values. Here, now that first one is including uh, y n plus 1, so evaluate at the last step. So once uh, uh, b is 0, then uh, that will disappear and the evaluation uh, y n plus 1 is explicit. But if b0 is non zero, then we have to solve the problem and y n plus 1 is uh, defined implicitly so that we call the algorithm implicit. Okay, we'll see uh, three examples for fourth-order multi-step methods. For simplicity of the notation, we are using y i prime uh, is the same as f evaluated at x i y i. Uh, first one is Adams best fourth method, which is an explicit method. Y n plus one. It's just the yn uh, plus now here that linear combination of earlier values and times here h. And for the second one, this is implicit method. So here now yn plus 1 prime is same as fxi xn plus 1 and yn plus 1. So that is implicitly. Um, defined. So by using uh, an iterative algorithm, you have to solve for y n plus 1. And in the case, it may be a little bit uh, expensive so that uh, we can combine these two algorithms and in form of a predictor collector method. That is called Adams Bash forth mult method. By using the explicit method, we first um, predict so that y n plus 1 star is a prediction. Now, by using predicted value, we try to evaluate the slope value at the last step at um, x is m, x n plus 1, and we call the evaluation as that one. So it is explicit evaluation. And this combination came from Adam's Mult method, so that now uh, this step is a correction step, prediction step, correction step, by combining these two uh, methods. Okay. So here, uh, Adam's Bash Force Moulton in ABM is somewhat uh, popular. And for uh, 
uh, this method here y1 y2 y3 uh, must be initialized for example and we cannot get here along with the subscript negative so that here n must be larger than or equal to 3 so that here first we can get as y sub 4 so y1 y2 y3 must be initialized we can get it by using uh, fourth of the logical method and here after that, we can use this um, ABM. Multi-step methods may save evaluation of the slope such that in each step, they require only one or two new evaluation of the slope to uh, finish uh, the step. Okay, let's go over there. For this one, now, after getting uh, YN here, to get y n plus 1, we need this evaluation. Uh, that is your f at x n y n. We need that evaluation. So the one evaluation is required and the earlier values can be saved. And once we are using this predictor corrector scheme, then there is one evaluation. Also, we have another evaluation here. And of course, this value is used over there so that uh, uh, we need two evaluations for each stem so that it's more efficient than logical method. For third logical method requires four evaluation of the slope. Okay. RK methods are accurate enough and easy to implement so that multi methods are rarely applied in practice. RK, logical methods are really good. And so that in reality, and ABM is not much used there. ABM shows a strong stability for special cases, occasionally, uh, but not often. Okay. Uh, we have um, ABM uh, implementation for solving uh, uh, this problem, the model problem, the same uh, model problem. Now F is defined here, and then now RK4, same algorithm. Earlier we saw this part, and for ABM, now we um, use RK4 for three steps, starting from X0, and x0 plus uh, 3 times h, which means that up to x3 and 3 steps we do so that this one will include y0, the initialization, and y1, y2, y3. Okay. Then uh, that will be now yn and yn plus 1 can be gotten here from uh, prediction and correction so that we can finish uh, the uh, one step and we march from 4 to uh, here up to the last time level. Here uh, for simplicity, uh, I didn't uh, implement the algorithm along with saving here in each one uh, it is trying to re-evaluation again and again, but in real life, you can save these values and uh, you can use them without re-evaluation. Okay. Here, after solving the problem by using ABM with uh, RK4 used for initialization, we get the solution and now uh, this is the exact solution for the model problem and we measure maximum error. In this case, we can get here maximum error uh, here. There is a one, two, three, four, five. Five times, about five times uh, 10 to the minus five. But if you are using full through the logical scheme, then your error, maximum error will be 
uh, about 1.9 times 10 to the minus 6. So the ABM is producing a much larger error. However, in each step, here only two evaluation is required so that uh, that was once used uh, much, but in modern society, is really rarely used. Okay. okay, that's the end of the section. Thank you.